Welcome to WBP Stars. You are in the luxury fine dining restaurant Aperitif in Ubud. And for the next dish, we're gonna make a yellow risotto based on the yellow rice. Yellow rice is very typical in Indonesia for every important meal or festivity. And we're gonna do it with clams. So we have also some uh, asari clams from the fish market that we bought also together with the mackerel. And they also call it Manila clams, but Asari is the local name for it. We're gonna just blanch them and then we're gonna make this yellow rice uh, risotto together with the kakai foam. So Thai, Indonesian and then quite European. <clears throat> so here we use the risotto because the, the quality of the risotto rice is really, really perfect. And in Bali you have mostly sticky rice. And we're gonna add on uh, a kakai foam so from Thailand and then we have also some clams from the fish market where we went yesterday and then we're gonna start to make first of all the kakai so like you know in Indonesia we have a lot of coconuts so of course we have to do something with it and we finished the yellow rice risotto with coconut cream <clears throat> and we already made the, the base the jus to cook the risotto, <coughs> turmeric, garlic, shallot, and first of all the kakai. So we use virgin coconut oil. We use uh, the onion. <coughs> We have all the ingredients, we have mushroom, we have ginger, we have kaffir lime, we have chili, we have garlic, we have lemongrass, we have spring onion, and then we have lime juice, lime zest, fish sauce, sesame seed, oil, <coughs> everything together. We saute a little bit all the herbs and the spices <coughs> to release the flavors. And many, many dishes in Indonesia, you always start with uh, making a bumbu. A bumbu is a spice mix. So uh, for the kakai, it's like a Thai, Thai bumbu. And if we saute this, we're gonna add some uh, chicken stock, we add some coconut milk, and we're gonna let it infuse for uh, two hours all together on 85 degrees. So, not really boiling, but. So, we also add the lemon, fish sauce, and oil. Lemon zest, lime zest, sorry. and then we let it infuse for a while. Meanwhile, we can make the risotto. Very low temperature, don't have to boil, otherwise you're gonna break the coconut. So 
So here we have the jus for the risotto. <coughs> Start again with virgin coconut oil. So be some shallots, some garlic. Also, this variation for the for the risotto. So we use it now for the for the clams, but we also can use it for braised lamb. So we made it also with lamb gulai. So gulai kambing. You can do it with uh, beef. You can do it with chicken even, or even with uh, with rabbit. Now we make like a traditional risotto and we're going to add <coughs> turmeric and the garlic and the shallot jus. First we start with risotto so it becomes a little bit uh, glazy, so saute a little bit and once it's ready we're going to add so we add the jus, <coughs> our risotto is almost ready. So this is one of the most important meals in the Indonesian cuisine, <coughs> is rice. And then the yellow rice is, of course, more for uh, events like weddings or like the race tafel or sport waders. There is lemon grass also a little bit inside. <coughs> then we're gonna finish it with a few spoons of coconut cream. Normally, the coconut milk we make ourselves, like for our uh, ceviche we make our own homemade coconut milk but for the cream we, we still prefer to use it from outside <coughs> so you get this uh, creamy texture like the risotto should have Butter. So here is like a Italian dish, but then with the Indonesian flavors. So we are very open-minded to use all different kind of foods. So we always say. Uh, food without borders, so for us it's like borders, they don't exist, the chefs are without limits. <laughs> but we always respect where the product is coming from, the quality and how much effort the farmer puts in a, in a product and we try to respect this and bring it back on the plate, so when we want to give a risotto, 
we want to give a correct risotto, like creamy. And then here uh, there's gonna be a lot of flavors, Indonesian flavors. A little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. A little paste. We also cook the risotto al dente, but like just enough al dente, not raw. Voilà. <coughs> this is our uh, risotto. So, some extra butter. And then we're gonna put it on the plate with the clams. And then we're gonna use our kakai foam. Finish it so we have a very nice balanced flavors and a lot of spices in the food. And the clams are actually just poached. So they keep the flavor and they're fresh. Okay, now we can start the plating. Okay, now we're gonna go for the plating. Like I said, the most important is the rice. So we have our yellow rice risotto. We can make it a little bit more creamy, but it's okay for now. And then we put the clams on. So we clean also the we poach them just in salt water. Then we clean them so we don't have dirt in your mouth or sand. The most interesting part of this dish is there is a lot of Indonesian flavor, but then we combine <coughs> the clam like a clam risotto, and then you have Thai flavor on top of it, and it balances each other. And that's what we like to give a lot of flavor to the food. But keep the product like it should be. Quality is first. So we put a little bit of the guy foam. And that's it.